Hi friends, um, so I'll be making this video for all my beginner students. Um, I'm gonna split the class into two. Uh, I want you guys to use this video as your homework so that way you don't forget uh, from whatever you learned uh, in the past, okay? So uh, now whoever take class with Coach Joe, uh, with uh, Coach Joe's group, uh, I want you to follow this homework video uh, me and Joe, uh, Coach Joe, working on this video to help you so that way you guys can practice at home. Uh, so I hope you guys take, take time to pra really practice this exercise. And I want you to do it every day, just spend like about 5 to 10 minutes each day. So it's good that uh, you do this kind of exercise at home uh, while you're not having any other activity. Alright, so uh, let's get into it. So for Coach Joe group, uh, I want you guys to do the first homework which is practice your grip forehand grip and backhand grip okay so i want you guys to practice forehand grip and backhand grip um, you can use uh, just practice your swing motion and hit in the air or you can also use uh, pillow okay you can just tap your pillow so but make sure your grip uh, for the forehand okay it's like could you teach you the handshake grip okay this is like a v-shape Okay, so the edge should be pointing towards closer to the left side of your grip. Okay, right here. So it's a handshake grip. Okay, so it's not like this, this is wrong grip. Okay, so forehand grip. Okay, the V shape, the V shape should pointing the left side of your uh, racket uh, grip. Okay. If you extend your arm, then it looks like this. Okay. Your index finger is apart, apart than the middle finger, and your thumb should always touch the middle finger. Okay. So when you grip your racket, make sure you grip your racket loose. Okay, not too tight, loose and firm. Yeah. So this is the forehand grip, and this is for the backhand grip. For the backhand grip, again, your thumb. Should be on the flat, wide grip surface. Okay, so make sure you guys don't hold your grip like this. Your thumb should not be higher than your index finger. So your your thumb should be level with the index finger. If you see this, your index finger and your thumb level. So I, I call this grip is pinch grip. Okay, okay, pinch grip. So this is how it looks like. This is for the backhand grip. Yeah. So what I want you to practice is like I want you to practice your forehand and backhand grip. Just swing you uh, practice your swing motion. Uh, one minute. Yeah, one one minute. We do it five sets. Okay. So let's uh, let's get ready. Okay. You guys can follow me. So make sure you practice changing your grip. I want you to try to aim between one o'clock and eleven o'clock. Okay. Imagine that there is a big wall and big watch right here so this is your top clock this is your one o'clock this is your two o'clock three o'clock same thing over here eleven o'clock ten o'clock nine o'clock so what i want you to do is i want you to practice your swing motion in the air one o'clock and eleven o'clock okay so one o'clock eleven o'clock make sure you change your grip forehand grip and then backhand grip Forehand grip and then backhand grip. Forehand, backhand. When you do this exercise, make sure you swing your racket straight forward. Straight forward. Do not swing to the center like this. Okay? Make sure you swing straight forward. Do not swing to the center. Again, swing forward. Bring your arm sideways, push it forward. Bring your arm sideways, push it forward. Okay, so you don't swing to the center like this. If you swing to the center, okay, you're gonna slice the bird. Yeah, so make sure when you bring your racket forward, okay, your racket face must be flat. Okay, your racket face must be flat. Okay, so from the side, open sideway, push it forward. Open sideway, push it forward. Make sure you change your grip forehand and backhand. Forehand grip. Backhand grip. Forehand. 
Forehand. Yeah, the reason why you want to work on your forehand and backhand because when you play, uh, when the body comes to your right side, you need to use forehand grip. When the body goes comes to your left side, when the body goes, comes to your left side, you have to switch to backhand grip. Yeah, so you have to be able to learn uh, changing your grip. Yeah, so again, this is your first homework. I want you to spend five minutes per day uh, working on this exercise. Um, five sets, all right? And after this, we're gonna jump into the second exercise. Uh, the second exercise that I want you to work on at home is practice your basic clear motion, uh, basic clear motion. And I want you to do this exercise, uh, same thing, one minute, uh, sets of five. Or you can just do five, uh, five minutes straight, so it's up to you. But I want you to follow the step by step. Okay, I believe Coach Joe spent some time with you work on the basic body position. Uh, step one, step two, step three. So I want you to recall and then I want you to uh, practice together um, uh, at home yeah, during this uh, shelter in place. All right, so let's get started. So for the ready position, of course, uh, you have to apply a forehand grip and um, you can follow the start with the ready position. Okay, so this is how we start with the side. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this two line as a guideline, so you guys can uh, also you know, set a line at home, or you can just stand where, wherever you feel comfortable with. Uh, okay, so start from the Okay, that one. Open up your shoulder. Make sure your wrist both foot up higher. Okay, your elbow should be about 90 degree okay so not like this also not like this okay so it's about 90 degree okay so it's about 90 degree and then your left arm okay do not drop your arm like this make sure your arm higher okay so your left arm and your right hand should be about the same level yeah okay so again uh ready position okay i i call this also zero okay so zero is ready position Step number one, which is open up your arm. Step one, step two, rotate your hips at the same time. You bring your elbow up, and you rotate your hips, and you turn your shoulder forward. Your elbow automatically raise. Okay? And make sure that you raise both shoulders facing forward. Okay? So both shoulder facing forward. So I'm facing the camera now. So step one, step two, rotate your hips. Okay, both shoulder is facing forward, and then you, at the same time you can lower your left arm. So you drop your left arm. Make sure your elbow remain uh, higher. Okay, from this point, you move your arm forward and snap your wrist forward. Okay, straight line. Okay, so imagine that there's uh, you follow the straight line, okay? So from one, two, and then three, and then follow through, okay? So again, step one, step two, rotate your hips, snap your wrist on the top, okay? So the co the point of contact should be above your head, okay? Yeah. So that's where you want to snap your wrist. You want to apply a whipping motion, okay? It's a whipping motion or it's a snap and then hold okay so make sure when you snap your wrist it goes straight line and then follow through okay after when you bring your racket uh, when you follow through follow through you can just bring it to the side okay and then bring it back to the same direction one two three follow through again one, two, three, follow through. Okay? You can also see it from this angle. One, two, three, follow through. One, two, snap, follow through. So when you snap your wrist, when you swing, you should hear the sound it's between here to here. Yeah? So it's not from here to here. So it's not like this. Yeah, that's not correct. The sound should be on the top, right here. 
Okay, so one, two, step. Okay, one, two, step. One more time. One, two, step. One, two, step. One, two, step. Okay, so again, I want you to practice this exercise one minute sets of five. Uh, you can also use wall. Uh, for this exercise to help you. Okay, I'm going to show you in a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so you can also use wall uh, for for the guideline. Uh, this will be easier. Okay, so you just stand closer to the wall. Your body face the wall, your right hand face the wall, your arm face the wall. Okay, but of course you want to swing uh, straight. Okay, so from here, turn, elbow high, Get your body against the wall, elbow high, drop your left arm to the side, from this point, snap, and then follow through. You can open. One, two, three, follow through. Okay, make sure you stand closer. You don't want to, you don't want to stand far from the wall, otherwise you can cheat. Okay? If, if you stand far from the wall, you can drop your elbow. Okay, so you still can drop your elbow. So this is not right. Okay, when you, when you start doing this, your swing becomes smaller. So that's that's not good. Okay, so you have to stay closer. Yeah, from here, raise your elbow high. See, the good thing about practice against the wall is like you cannot cheat. Okay, if you drop your elbow, you wouldn't be able to turn your body. Look this. Watch this. See, if you turn, okay, and then your elbow drop, you cannot even turn your body. So in order for you to turn, you have to bring your elbow high. Okay, maintain. Make sure your body is closer to the wall. Okay? Yeah. Do not go like this. Yeah. So from here, one, two, and then step. Follow. One, two, step forward. The reason why you want to do this because you want to fix your form. Make sure you bring your elbow high so that you can contact at the highest point. Okay. Once you drop your elbow. Your contact point is become lower too as well. Okay, so that's not right. Again, make sure you spend some time working on this foundation, especially Coach Joe group. Yeah, um, and after you master this, and um, next week I'm gonna give you different exercise. Right, motion, and then now we go to the third exercise, uh, which is your footwork and uh, your swing motion. Okay, so again, I want you to do this exercise same thing. Spend about one minute uh, sets of five, or you can do more. Yeah, depend on how comfortable uh, you are. If you don't feel comfortable with this work, I suggest you spend more time, right? Okay, so you can do this exercise again every day. Just spend five minutes, right? So let's jump into this. Okay. Shuffle one, two, three. Three shuffle. Okay, three. Shuffle, shuffle, and go back to the so let me get a couple of positions. When you're in the right position, your right foot, your dominant foot should be slightly in the front. Like this, okay? You don't stand too high like this. You need to bend your body when you're looking over. This should work. Good side. Okay, so let me get a position. Okay, open up, shut up behind. One, two, three. Swing. And then pull the foot. One, two, and then let go. Okay, take it one more time. One, two, three. Swing, shuffle, shuffle, away. One, two, three. Swing, shuffle, shuffle, away. Okay, so if you are, um, you have a high reach, uh, you are taller than other kids. If you are, if you are smaller, I, uh, sorry, if you are. Shoulder, you can apply three shuffle, one, two, three. But if you're if you feel that you're a bit taller, I'll say like eight, nine, eight greater and up, you can use two shuffle instead of three shuffle. Okay, so for two shuffle, one, two, yeah, big shuffle, big shuffle, three, one, three, three one, two, three, one, three, five. Okay, one, two, shuffle, one, two, press. Okay, so I want you to practice this exercise for this week. 
Again, three exercise, uh, forehand and making grip, uh, your swing to your motion, and also your footwork from center to the back. Okay, from center to the back. So this is your uh, exercise for the whole week. So you do it every day, five minutes per exercise, uh, forehand and backhand five minutes, forehand and backhand swing, uh, swing motion five minutes, and then footwork five minutes. All right, so I hope you spend time. Uh, parents, please watch your kids to do this so that way they don't forget from whatever they learn. And next week, I'm gonna give a new video uh, so that way they can progress during this uh, break, uh, shelter in place at home.